jump off right into it. Uh, I don't think Benavidez, I thought, I thought he fought down to the level that he was competing at. Mm -hmm. I've seen him uh, against better talent and perform better. Um, one of the Durrell brothers comes to mind. I didn't think he looked terribly impressive. I've seen him be able to throw like great combinations. Um, and all. it's not that he didn't have good combinations and they weren't power and speed mm -hmm. and all that. It just, it just didn't seem like the, the David Benadiaz that I've, I've seen yeah. and really grown to respect. What did you think about his performance against Ellis? <clears throat> well, I mean, that's a good point that you make, but in this uh, part of his career, he shouldn't be fighting down to his opponent because if you're trying to get a big fight, you should go there lights out. I think that Ellis actually performed pretty well for him right. not being a, a big name boxer. Um, it was kind of alarming how Benadia was getting hit, right? So he, he had to kind of shore up that defense. But I would rate it like right in the middle. I would give it like, you know, a B minus performance. He was never in really any big danger. Um, he showed some crazy hand speed when he actually let it go. That boy was throwing combos and yeah, Ellis could have really got hurt. But like you said, it was nothing to brag about, but it's not like he was ever in any real danger. But if you want to get a big fight, if you're calling out the big dogs, you have to be A plus performance. Yeah, I think.